So far away, Lucas. Who are we talking about today? We're talking about just the man with the devil gene. Oh man, the king of Iron Fist tournament himself. <laughs> so far away, Lucas, as you often do, is that the lovely folks at home know what specifically we're talking about today. Yeah, so as we mentioned in the intro, we are going to be talking about Kazuya Mishima. Yeah, or Kazuya Mishima, or however you want to pronounce it. Because you know what? I played this game when I was like eight years old, so my pronunciation is just like just so ingrained in that experience as a kid of hearing like the really bad sound chip on the PS1 play the Kazuya Mishima. So that's how I pronounce it. Kazuya Mishima wins. I'm apologize right now if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. I, I played this game as a kid, so that's what's informing my pronunciation today. But um, it's a rarity for a wiki weekend today, isn't it, Lucas? Because we're actually reading from two wikis at once. We are, yes. Yeah, because uh, if people don't know, like, Lucas does a little bit of research behind the scenes before we cover these, just to like, you know, make sure the, um, the wiki entry is like, you know, it's got some good stuff in there. And you found that there was some good stuff on the Tekken one, but also some good stuff on the proper Wikipedia page, both of which you can find linked below. Yeah, so basically, Luke is going to be providing the band names and going to be providing the facts. Um, speaking of which, we'll go over a brief overview for people who may not be familiar with Kazuya Mishima. So, um, Kazuya Mishima, or Kazuya Mishima, or Kazuya Mishima, if you listen to it in the game, is a fictional character in Bandai Namco's Tekken series. First featured as the protagonist in the original 1994 game. If you forget, like, he's the hero of the first game. He is. And, like, yeah. his whole thing is, I want to throw my dad off a mountain. Like, he uh, is, like, one of the most relatable protagonists in a video game. It's like, I just want to beat my dad. Yeah. Like, I'm so pissed off at my dad, like, thinking he's hot shit. Let's show him what for. And he later became one of the major antagonists of the series, the son of a worldwide conglomerate, Mishima Zaibatsu CEO, Heihachi Mishima. Kazuya seeks revenge against his father for throwing him down a cliff. <laughs> that's the entirety of the second story. He started because hey, Hatchy saw his son like he's too fucking weak. Down a cliff he goes. And I'm going to try and remember my Tekken law here. And the devil gene does not come from hey, Hatchy Mishima. Um, I believe it's like a common misconception that um, the devil gene comes from hey, Hatchy and it just skips a generation or something like that. Because hey, Hatchy's dad, Jin Patchy, is also demonic in appearance. It's no, it comes from um, Kazuya's mother, um, Kazumi. Um, who can fire tigers from her fists and canonically knows Akuma from Street Fighter. <laughs> I knew about the devil gene. I didn't know about the fucking fist tigers. The what? fist tigers, yes. And um, uh, the devil gene is passed down to Kazuya, who himself passes it down to um, uh, Jin Kazama. But Jin Kazama is able to sometimes overcome the devil gene because his mum, Jun Kazama, uh, just so happens to be like the earthly embodiment of devil's counterpart, Angel. And Lucas, uh, if you'd like to now come with some band names, because obviously I've just covered like the basic information about Kazuya as a character, but you have some of his alternate names there, don't you? So would you like to go through a few of those? Yeah, for once, I get to read out the band names. This is exciting. There we go. So Lucas, the band names, which are the alternate names and aliases of Kazuya Mishima. So we start with Devil Kazuya. We've got the Cold Blooded Son and the Cold Blooded Leader. Okay. Uh, we've got Controller of the Devil. That's good. Uh, That's a fucking yeah. strong one. <laughs> and this one I think is my favourite. We've got Ice Cold Air. Oh, Air is in like uh, Air to the Throne. Air to the throne, yes. H. -E yeah, I think about ice cold air. Is he like he has like, an icy cold aura about him? Air about him. <laughs> I was like really confused for a moment there. Any more? Uh, we've got one last one, which is in uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which isn't out yet, but it's apparently called they have the Iron Fist of Darkness. Oh, so good! So I was thinking, does he have the King of Iron Fist tournament? And I'm not sure. Like, he won it in the first game because mm. he throws Heihachi off a cliff. One of my favourite things about Tekken. Is that there is like a canon storyline, but um, if you beat the arcade mode with any character, you get their arcade ending. And some of them um, are considered canon, but it's like it's not canon that the character won, but what they did after the tournament is. And my, my favourite non canon endings are all the ones for Kuma, where like Kuma takes over the Mishima Zaibatsu in Heihachi's stead after Heihachi dies and then comes back. And you have just Kuma signing things by hitting it with his paw. <laughs> <laughs> and he runs the business super well. Oh and I really God. like um, the one where it's like, is it 
I can't remember whether it's pandas or whether it's Xiao Yu's, uh, where they okay. just go and enjoy a day at the theme park. Yeah, and then it turns out it's actually Heihachi Land. Yeah, it is Heihachi Land. Have you got any other favourite like Tekken endings? Like, can we? Not, we've got to mention Kings. Um, King in Tekken 2, where it's a man in a jaguar mask staring through the window of an orphanage and then crying. <laughs> and then leaving presents out in the snow for the orphans. Kuma dies between the events of Tekken um, 2 and 3 as well. And he then the next rain. Kuma is like the son or daughter of the original Kuma, right? Yeah, it's, it's the son of the original Kuma who Heihachi just calls Kuma 2. And the fact people are probably screaming about in the comments is that Kuma is Japanese for bear. Meaning Heihachi got a pet bear, called it bear. It died, he got another one and called it bear 2. And one of the things I love about Kuma is, is that... Um, between the events, I think, of Tekken 3 and 4, Kuma realises that he's getting fat. He's getting lazy. Because he's like, look, I, all I do is watch television and eat snacks. I, I need to reconnect to my primal bear nature. So he goes into the woods to train. And that's the in-canon explanation for why Kuma learns new moves. <laughs> Where he goes into the bear stance. <laughs> Because he actually taught him Mishima style fucking martial arts, but he combines it with bear foo. <laughs> and it's just tech as the best. Oh. I'm going back to the concept behind Kazuya. It says here that Kazuya's design and characterization was influenced by a variety of sources. Um, his family name was taken from author um, um, Yukio Mishima, who was also used as a model for the character's physical appearance. I feel like we need some more band names, so can you just please click on? Um, Kazuya Mishima's list of moves in Tekken 7 and just read some of the names. Okay. We need some more band names here. Right, I've got up his move list from just like Tekken 7. Yeah, and as you're doing that now, I'm going to give a, quick, a brief overview from Wikipedia about his gameplay style. So Kazuya's fighting style is known as Mishima style fighting karate. One of the only interesting things about Jin is that he originally fights with that style and then gets so pissed off when he learns that his dad's a prick and the d literal devil. He unlearns. Mishima style karate and instead incorporates um, Kazama style karate instead, which is what his mother used. And the idea of unlearning a martial art is so fucking cool. <laughs> oh, well, we've got uh, here, we've got Glorious Demon God Fist. Yeah, which is like his ultimate fist. Like, then you've just got a regular Electric Wind God Fist. <laughs> That's like one of his best moves. One of the best moves in the game is Electric Wind God Fist. Because <laughs> it's called God Fist. It's so good. Not only here have we got, he's got a move called Rampaging Demon, which is incredible. He's also got a move called Rampaging Demon to left hook. <laughs> so, as if the, as if, the ramp, if the Rampaging Demon can't get the job done, this left hook will. Oh, I, I love the naming conventions of moves in just video games sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's like, like, what's one of your favourite like fighting game moves then? Because like, just there's so many that are just ridiculous. Like um, the one that I have to bring up just because like, it's one of those ones where you hear it and go, yeah. And it is, um, oddly enough, Heaven's Gate, which is the forward mm -hmm. throw of Sophitia, I believe, in the Soul Calibur series. And that is where she does a front flip onto your opponent's shoulders, crotch first, and spins around and breaks the neck. <laughs> and it's called Heaven's Gate, for obvious reasons. Uh, according to Harada, Kazuya is one of the most difficult characters for a player to control. He saw Kazuya as a fun character due to how powerful he is. As a result, Harada felt gamers who lose while playing as him feel ashamed. <laughs> you should feel ashamed losing <laughs> as the devil. And it says here that um, uh, while fans often question him, saying that Lars Anderson was the strongest character used in tournaments, Harada denied such claims, believing that the Mishimas were far more powerful. Does he mean like in terms of story or just because he's like, you know, it's his fucking OC? I really don't know, but that really strikes to me the same way that Ed Boon's just got the bone of the scorpion. Yeah, like, scorpion's the best. It's like, but this character sucks ass in tournaments. But scorpion's the best, though. <laughs> right, to end on, I think we need to mention the fact that in Tekken canon, Kazuya shot down a satellite. 
And if people don't know what I'm talking about, in Tekken 7, uh, I believe Kazuya is fighting Akuma on a building. And Heihachi shoots the building with a satellite and it blows up. And Kazuya survives because he's Kazuya. And mm -hmm. he gets so mad, he looks into the sky and fires a laser beam that brings the satellite down on Heihachi's headquarters. And someone nearby films it and it appears on the news with the headline, I believe this is a direct quote, Kazuya Mishima, a devil, question mark. And the story says then that people eventually forgot. <laughs> people eventually forgot that the CEO of the biggest company on earth turned into a devil and lasered a satellite out of orbit and brought it down on a, a rival corporation. <laughs> then again, oh, that's just universe. a fucking Tuesday in Techland, Carl. That's the thing. Like, this is the same universe where, for a bit, the biggest multi conglomerate on earth was run by a bear. <laughs> that's true. Tech is the best.